first thing is first, I really need a haircut. I think we can all agree my hair is getting very long. Um, I was actually trying to, like, I was trying to grow it a bit, like, just see how it looked. And as much as I do like it, it is a pain. Like, a real pain to keep, like, looking non-trampish. We'll go with... Anyway, um, I had a cool day today. I have, uh, made a very dodgy uh, shuri shuriken, I think it's called, the throwing thing for, that ninjas have. I made one of those at college. Um, and I also played with a flamethrower at college, which was pretty cool. Um, but other than that, I haven't got an awful lot to talk about today. So instead, I thought I'd try out a couple of impressions on you guys and see how you judge me. Now, please bear in mind straight away, I'm not professional, I don't do this other than for fun. So if you don't think I'm very good, don't hate on me, just say you're not very good. Anyway, so the first one, uh, if you are from England and you're my sort of age or older, you'll remember a guy called Chris Tarrant, who was the host of a TV program called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Great TV program, very distinctive voice. Now, if I talk like this, I actually sound um, quite a bit like Chris Tarrant. It's one of my favourite impressions that I can do. And, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure how I discovered that I could do this voice. I don't know what I was doing um, that made me somehow talk like this. And then I went, ah, I know what that sounds like. So if you want some sort of reference as to what it's sort of saying, go for now. For £500,000, the have the question. And the question is, um, in what year was the Battle of Trafalgar won? You've got a... I don't, I don't actually know when anything about the Battle of Trafalgar. I don't know why I picked that. I could have picked one that I actually knew. Awkward. Anyway, next up, uh, we've got uh, a possibly very dodgy version of Jeremy Clarkson. Now, to talk like Jeremy Clarkson, you have to talk like you've been smoking quite a few cigarettes most days of your life. You also have to draw out some of your words. Because, trust me, this could be the worst impression in the world. <laughs> it's one that I only just sort of make my voice a little bit deeper and just do that. It's <laughs> essentially what I'm doing. Now to talk like Mark Free. I've been practicing this one for a very long time. And I would like to hope that you agree that I can do it. Whether it's very good or not is debatable. But I do try to talk and get the mannerisms right for Morgan Freeman. Uh, let's think. Now to sound like Nicolas Cage, I try to just sigh in almost every word. I have to sound like I'm disappointed all the time. It's just constant depression when you're Nicolas Cage. Even though you make millions of dollars making movies where you play the same guy over and over again. Now don't get me wrong, I love Nicolas Cage. I love his films, so before you start going, ah, how could you say that about Nicolas Cage? I love him, okay? So I'm not taking the piss. He just genuinely does play Nicolas Cage in most films. There are some exceptions, but I'm not going to go into that now. We're not going to turn this into a Nicolas Cage for play video. Now the last one. You want to know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker and a fiend. One night he comes home drunker than usual. And he goes to my mother. Now she gets a knife from the kitchen to protect herself. But he doesn't like that. And so he takes it from her. And while I'm watching, he puts it to her. And he turns to me and he says, Why so serious? He said, he said, and he comes up to me and he says, Why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face. He puts the blade in my mouth. <laughs> you know what? Now I'm always smiling. By the way, I, I don't actually know if they're the actual words he says in the film. I, I'm just trying to roughly get what he says. I haven't watched that film in a while. I think that's close to what he says, but if I'm wrong, again, I'm sorry. Anyway, that's pretty much all I've got for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. And before I leave you, I've got a little sneak peek of what I'm working on. So, let's 
hopefully you'll be excited for it. Because I am. Anyway, I'll catch you later.